Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here for our 2022 Naruto Collection Showcase. It's one of my favorite times of the year where I get to bring you downstairs to see all the changes to the room. Without delay, we'll head to the top of my stairs and work our way down. Another year, another opportunity to tell everyone thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm so glad everyone gets to enjoy these collectibles all around the world. Directly down the bottom of the stairs, we'll see this amazing piece of art. I picked this up at New York Comic Con 2021, and normally I don't like artwork on my walls because I'd rather put display cases or statues, but this one, when I saw it, completely wrecked me. The whole story of Naruto is packed into one piece of art here, so here is their information for where to find them on Instagram, and I'll also link in the description on where to find that specific art piece. Throughout the room tour, I'm going to be mentioning lots of different businesses and places where I get my stuff. This is not paid advertising at all. I just want to share with you, so if you want to pick it up for yourself, you know where to find it. These awesome minifigure display cases were picked up off of Etsy by Creative Mini 88 Again, link in the description, and they house most of my unofficial Naruto minifigure collection. My higher-end ones, the custom ones, will have a display case later in the future. Taking up a small section in my Pokemon statue case is the Cartoon World Battle Damage line. I have the first three here, and I do believe the data has shipped and on the way. I have a different video that showcases all the Pokemon collection. I'll link that at the very end of the video. Here is the big boy in my collection, the life-size Sage Mode Naruto. He is that number one collectible that you meet and greet every single time you come down the stairs and appreciate. Over here is where I put some of my filming accessories as well as some temporary items on the table. Here is the Path to Hokage first edition Naruto graded in an MNT 9.0. And there's one of the worst statues in my collection. And here is the Charizard made by Vitamin Studio and also my full and empty frog wallet. Those are actually made of resin, so they are statues. And this is where all the amazing unboxing magic happens, where I unbox and showcase the lights I use on my table. Over here is a new case setup that I added this year. Throughout the room tour, you will find some imposters that are not Naruto statues. I'll sneak in here and there. This is my small section I have carved out for some Digimon statues made by GD Studios, one of my favorite lines that showcases a bunch of different of the you know forms and evolutions of the Digimon. A change that I made to my collection this year is I've added lots of different graded cards to my collection, sitting next to statues and accenting them, kind of art and art going together. They're mostly graded by MNT, which is a Canadian company that has been awesome to send my cards to. Here is this one right here, an amazing one of Minato. And then this is the Cloud Studios Minato, the fourth in their Hokage line. We will see the first three later, but for now he's separated because of how tall he is. This is the recently showcased amazing Crescent Studios Life of Naruto statue that showcases so many different forms of him and also plays some music. Then there's one of the most iconic cards in the Naruto CCG, Sage Mode Naruto. Moving on up, these have been in my collection for a while, the STR Sanin line. Recently added are the WCF scale younger versions of the signing. I'd love to see larger scale versions of these characters made one day. We'll see. Cross my fingers. And then over here to the left is one of my favorite silly statues of these three goofballs watching the signing duke it out like we saw in the show. In my case to the right is Revive Studio Jiraiya. I'll be reviewing this in the near future. Now to the right of that is a very special card I'll be making a video about that is worth more than probably all the statues in this room. A very interesting video that we'll share in the future. You might be thinking, well, bam, that's an expensive card. Well, yes, it is. And I can't wait to share the story behind it. Here is Sume Gara, a mother's love. And then we have the alternate form that comes with and Gianke Tamari. Down here we have another imposter which pays some respect and love to a series I loved growing up, Yu-Gi-Oh! Such an epic and awesome statue. We got some Exodia PSA graded cards there on the bottom. This area is where I keep my on-deck statues that will be reviewed in the near future. We can see Hex Collectibles here, a statue I picked up from my buddy at Comic Concepts. Over here on my table, you will find two of the greatest Naruto CCG cards of Madara and Obito. These are sitting to the side waiting for the Burning Wind Studio statues to arrive so I can pair those with them. At the bottom of this case, we'll find two paths of pain that go to the I Am Studio series. These are over here to the side because it's hard to display them all together. We'll see the rest of them later on. And then from one of my most memorable games growing up, easy a top three favorite, is the Final Fantasy X Yuna by Joy Stations. Her base normally doesn't light up, but I have a spotlight that's behind her. To the right is Apocalypse Studios' KCM Naruto. 
The last statues we'll find in this room is Cloud Studios, Hokage's one through three. I love Sarutobi and Monkey King Enma. So happy to finally have him in my collection. I love showcasing the summons, but nobody really makes statues of them, but such a good job with these. They come with these little busts and obviously I have some graded cards sitting next to them. Hashiram was done so well, as well as Toby Rama, just so good. I have not officially showcased the second and third, so here's, I guess, a quick preview before I do this video sometime in the near future. Time to back on up as we head into the main collection room. Newly added is the Ichiraku Ramen banners you'll see here. My neighbor, Michelle, sewed these up for me. Thank you again so much for doing that. It turned out fantastic as you enter this room. This remote that turns on all the lights on my cases is one of the items you can find in my BAM Collectibles Amazon store. It has a bunch of different tools and things that I use that bring my collection to life. Again, I'll put a link in the description so you can check those out. To the left of my desk is one of the coolest collectibles I own, this giant minifigure version of Sasuke Susana. He's actually inside of the head there. That was such a fun review to do a few weeks ago. Then it looks like Boss Bam left his glasses over here. Don't you touch them, Bam! Oh, looks like he's still here. This is my die-cast Zabuza sword, as well as this little keychain. Has a lot of memories locked up in that. One of the first collectibles I ever owned when I was younger. Here's an awesome piece by Shark Design Studio of Team 7 when they took their first initial photo. And on the right is the art contest winner that I hosted many weeks ago. This is art by ZYM on Instagram. Great job on this, and I love having it right next to my desk. Then the 100,000 subscriber special by Green Lotus Studio of Naruto and Sasuke from Boruto when they versed against Momoshiki. Very amazing piece right here. This is a breathtaking statue. Don't think it's ever leaving the collection. A huge thank you to Cody. He's the individual who sold me this MH Studio Hokage Mountain, which I'm so thankful to finally grab in the collection. Also, a really good buddy of mine gave me this Minato to start off the Hokage's gathering together as a Christmas gift. Thank you as well. You know who you are. This covered up statue is for our 300,000 subscriber special video, hopefully in the near future. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be a part of the solution and not the problem. And join along here if you enjoy statue unboxing videos. There's a quick teaser on the characters that'll be in the statue. Let me know in the comment section who you think those characters are in the statue. Moving on to my IKEA Detolf setup. For these, we'll start it off on the bottom, this right section over here. We have LX Studio or MHD Studios of the Nine Tails. They have the pretty basic bases going on with the characters on top. There is eight tails. And my apologies, the background for these cases are pretty ugly. There's some wiring hanging out back there. I'm looking to try to get maybe a curtain that sits behind everything and maybe puts a nice black sheet behind it. Or I might get some custom backgrounds printed for these cases as I did in a video many, many years ago. As with any collection room, you've never ever arrived. There's always room for improvement or something you're working on. Actually, I have a whole collection of Naruto Funko Pops that won't even be in this video because I'm waiting for a proper display case to show up so I can get those set up. Here we have another imposter. This is Crescent Studios, Gigantamax Charizard. There's an awesome little PSA graded card with it. X Studios Zabaza over here with Bolt Studios as well. The miniature WCF style, really cool little statue. The X Studio Swordsman of the Mist line is one that's very anticipated this year. I hope they keep on going. Burning Wind Kakashi has so many different ways that you can display him and showcase him. I have him in the version where he has his flak jacket off as if he's fighting against Kakazu. DP9 Curse Mark 2 Sasuke, what a beautiful piece over here. And then to accent it, we have the DP9 One Tail Naruto. These two are a shining example of how gorgeous it looks when you pair it together, both statue and card. A statue that'll be around for a long time is Singularity Workshop's Six Pass Madara. Over on the right side is a custom car, so it's not an official one that had released. And then we have the, I believe, WCF style from Surge Studio. In the future, I'm hoping to get a display case similar to the one you saw in the beginning with the Cartoon World Battle Damage Line, where my Pokemon are at as well. So we'll phase out of these IKEA Detolf. Here's the MH Studio Anbu line, a gorgeous line that I don't feel like many people actually collected or haven't seen many pictures of it. There is Singularity Workshop Neji as well, one of the few Neji statues out there that exist. Another line that I eventually need to phase into some Maju cases is the I Am Studios Pass of Pain. We saw two of the pass earlier. So here's the rest of everybody hanging out on top of the Detoffs. Love this Nagato sitting in this chair. A very awesome statue line, but kind of difficult to display all together. So they're scattered for the time being. Imposter, we have Ichigo over here. Monkey D Studio, one of my favorite versions of him sculpted to date. 
Moving on to my customized IKEA PAX cases that I made many years ago. We have Zuban Itachi over here. The statue itself seems a bit bright. I think it's a little bit too close to the lights for the camera in person. Definitely looks great and lights them up really well. Over here is the Surge Studio WCF style of Itachi. Kind of not sure where to put these at the moment, so they're resting with certain statues. The Cartoon World Fate statue with Sage, Naruto, Jiraiya, and Minato. And then a very precious card of them after training. This next setup has been in my collection this way for quite a few years now. We have STR Mike Guy over here, a custom card, but a statue I will never ever really sell. Such a beautiful one and really early piece for me that meant a lot and we'll stay that way for a long time. In the back right, we'll see Singularity Workshop Rock Lee. Just like Neji, another character, we don't see enough statues of. And then the epic Singularity Workshop Mike Guy of him using Night Guy. You can see the kick is right in motion. Look at the veins lighting up as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Another setup that's been around for a while is my Cloud Studios Gara. This is one of the earliest ones I think they ever made as a studio. The ultimate defense in the background. And WM Studios Kimimaro, another character underrepresented in the statue collecting community. Perfect card to go with him as well. I dream of a day where the Sound 5 would have their own statues, but probably not popular enough to see it happen. We'll see, maybe one day. Made by Big Gecko Studio, and one of the only statues to feature all of Kakashi's Ninken is this bad boy in a 1-7 scale. Glorious little piece here. I wish the dogs were attached to the actual statue. I guess the Ninkens were attached to the statue, but here's Singularity Workshop Gara, an oldie but a goodie. Probably another one that's not going to leave the collection for a long time. I love him in this mode. So crazy and menacing looking right there. If you're wondering about statues I've reviewed but aren't in this video, you know, sometimes I do either sell them if they don't fit into the collection or I borrow friends' statues to review. So a mixture of the both and one of the holiest of holy grail cards I have graded is my MNT Sasuke Susano. Tens are extremely difficult to get because MNT's grading is very harsh, but that's what you want for a card grading company. Over here is the Sasuke that goes on top of Aura. I like him separate because it makes it a little bit too busy with him on top of there. And then you'll see in the background a little bit behind him is the extra body for Cartoon World Sasuke that we'll get to shortly, but a glorious piece by Box Studios, one of three that's coming together. We'll see Naruto shortly and Sakura just released. One of the top three statues in my collection that is a favorite of all time is going to be Cartoon World Sasuke. You know, this one does have some potential engineering issues involved with it. Many have had problems with it, but it's undeniably one of the greatest and most ambitious statues ever created by an unlicensed studio. The Cartoon World Naruto just released recently and should be shipping soon. I cannot wait to have them two side by side. I can't imagine what kind of display case I'm going to have to have to get them all together, but it's going to be epic pairing them two. He does come with the Indra's arrow. I have it taken off so it does fit inside this case. One thing I want to point out is for statues that are on the bottom of a display case, leave a little bit of room up top because when you do stand up, it kind of eliminates that room and you can see the statue perfectly. That's why some of my statues do have that gap on top. But here is GL Studios Minato, a perfect card to pair side by side with this bad boy. The head sculpt on Minato is not that great, but this is one of those statues that the focus isn't him, right? It's the giant Death Reaper Jutsu, so thankfully it's something I can look past because of how epic it is when you back up, especially those lights, the way it illuminates them. We saw Box Studio Sasuke before, and here is Box Studio Naruto, the incredible, probably one of the top chase cards, KCM Naruto from set 28 in a 10, one of the most glorious cards in the collection. So here is, again, Box Studio Naruto, and I mentioned before, Sakura is coming out soon. So I, the reason I don't have one of her yet is because I've been waiting for the right one, and so that should come probably in the next three to four months, and when she does, we'll finally have Sakura represented in the collection. An epic setup that I have not changed since last year at all is the Singularity Workshop Naruto, Sasuke, and KM Studios Kaguya. These two of Naruto and Sasuke will always go down in history for me as some of the best bang for your buck that you can get for a statue. Amazing character like this. We have some LEDs, some features, the quality, the poses, everything about those statues are just incredible. And this one right here is probably one of the best statues of Kaguya I've ever seen. Not a real favorite character of mine, but she is a part of the story. So I did want to have her represented and all three have custom made cars. They're not from any official set or anything. 
This angle right here should speak for itself. What an incredible piece. Down below is one of the oldest studios, SXG Studio, and we have the early Team 7 going on here. This is a set of four different statues. There's the young Kakashi card. We'll have young Obito on the right. But again, these are four different statues and they come together to create one piece. I love it when studios do this sort of thing where you kind of collect them all and you get the reward of having an epic diorama of all these. All three of them do have LED lights on the bottom, but I did not hook those up because I actually didn't have enough USB space to support all four of them. Jiraiya vs. Pain by Chikara Studio. They pump out some amazing work. Again, a perfect card to go side by side, probably in my top 10 favorites of the CCG there, but a really epic diorama there featuring three different pains getting pummeled by the man himself. Look closely and we'll also see Ma and Pa sitting on the shoulder. Gotta pick my butt up, man. Getting these shots of these lower cases is a little bit difficult, but we'll go ahead and move on to the top of the last IKEA PAX case. There we have the MNT 10 of Nagato there, another great card. And then over on our right side, we'll see the Cartoon World Duo statue of the reanimated or Ido Tensei, Nagato and Itachi. I added some LEDs on the bottom and top there to customize it. So if, if you have one and you're kind of wondering, why is my light up? It's because I did customize those, but the likeness to these characters are just perfection. Cartoon World does amazing work. I felt it only appropriate to put another duo statue side by side. We have Guy and Kakashi. Look at that turtle back there. The only statue I have that features Guy's turtle. A little Pakun down there in the left as well. But another statue I haven't reviewed, so look forward to it. And Shen, Wu, Naruto, and Sasuke. A huge thanks again to Blur at Blur Nation on YouTube who hooked me up with these statues, sold them to me at a really good price. He does some amazing content centered around different mangas and Bleach as well. But these bad boys will not be leaving the collection for a long time. Glorious, another perfect balance, kind of like the Singularity Workshop of character representation. We have the LED effects and just the dynamic pose that they have both of them in. Another classic statue of Sume Killer B. I don't think this one will ever be dethroned. One thing I want to mention is some statues like this one come with an addition size plaque. I usually just have that hidden behind the card stand so they are authentic statues. They are the original ones. I just don't like to have those displayed next to the statue anymore and prefer cards. Still blows my mind that no other Killer B statue has been made yet, but I guess when you're looking at this bad boy, nobody has a chance at dethroning it. So kind of a risk to do that sort of thing. Then we have on our right side over here, a Zhangke Studios Naruto, a cool card to go with it. And we have two tails Naruto going on here. And on the back, we have six tails. One of the few statues that's ever been made to feature six tails Naruto as he's partially transformed. And then here is Model Palace Hinata. One of these statues that's more scene accurate feels like it jumped right out of the anime or manga. This is the EX or advanced version, which has Naruto pinned down in the background as well. Finally, it's time to get up and take a look at the Manju cases to my right, which houses most of my Akatsuki collection. If you're not familiar with these cases, these are a Manju case, one of the premier and best cases out there for collectors. Here's the acrylic sheets that magnetize on the front and keep things dustproof. Now looking in the first case here, I hid a pack here so we can open up. If you haven't seen on my channel, I love to open up some uh, vintage and some China official packs every once in a while. So I'll clip this one open. This is from the Path of Pain set, actually a pretty expensive and rare pack here. Kicking it off with an animal transformation, a jutsu card, a Sasuke mission. Here is our foil for the pack, and then a Rin, Uhei, a Datara Jutsu, Itachi, Karim, Chakra Punch, and our rare, <laughs> our rare is piggyback. Oh my god, one of the most unforgettable moments in the series. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the collection, we're jumping into those Machu cases and kicking it off with Surge Studio Pain, one of the oldest out there ever created and easily one of the most ambitious ones, one of my top three for sure. Some statues do not age well with time, meaning that better ones come out, but this one still stands the test of time. I love that card that goes with it and the forbidden pain face that we saw in his battle versus Naruto. Next up is the EX version of Sasori. Again, all these are going to be by Surge Studio, so no need to say that any further. But the extra body of him in his human puppet form, look at that card. Unfortunately, Conan did not have any super rare cards created, so there's a placeholder for her until I get one graded. And there's the gorgeous version of her with his awesome looking blue LEDs on the bottom. Love the pose for her. 
Moving on down, we have their version of Hidan coming in. Now, I also have a statue of Hidan by UTS Studio. Unfortunately, that one is packed away because I don't have room for it at this moment, but he is still in my collection if you're wondering. Now, as we move upwards on the statue, you'll notice this skeletal being on top. That's their interpretation of Lord Jashin uh, in the statue. We've never physically seen him, but I guess they just got creative with it. And there's the other body, the curse form that it came with. Kakazu sitting right on top. If you're wondering how I elevate my statues like this, again, I have some items in that Amazon store that I use. These are actually square shelves that I put them on top of, and they have served me well through the years. For this case, unfortunately, something happened with the lights just today, and they got really dim on me. They're still on, but not as bright as the other ones, so I have to look into fixing or seeing what the problem is later. This is SS Studio Obito. Not too many of these made around the world. Doesn't exactly belong with the theme of this case, but it's a little blank right here because uh, we're having Zetsu come in later. Cloud Studios Orochimaru looks amazing. All those snakes coming out of there. I mixed him in here. He's not Surge Studio, but they never made an Orochimaru, so I figured I'd have him added in here for now. There's the placeholder for where Zetsu's gonna be. We'll remove Obito later. Surge Studio Sasori, my goodness, man, it has this crazy purple spotlight that blinds you every once in a while, so sorry for that, but what an engineering feat up top here with all these masterful puppets that have gone on on top. An epic piece for sure. I love how that all comes together and brings that jutsu to life. On the bottom, you'll notice there is a life-size spider over here, clay spider. I actually kept this from KM Studios Datero when I unboxed that and sold it off. I negotiated that I could keep that for a little bit of a discount and Surge Studio Datero on top. There's some custom LEDs in there to give the explosions off and there's skydiving Datero. Original intention or OI Toby is a placeholder because Surge just came out with their version, but I love the playfulness of this one. Now he's popping out of the ground. Got some of them clay explosives there. And the almighty, probably, again, this is one of the statues that would make it in the top three, Surge Studio Itachi. One of the greatest in the CCG, the Itachi Susano card there. And I will mention that the lights that you'll see with this statue are custom added. And it's not too fancy the way that I added them. I just actually have them taped to the back of it. You'll kind of see there on the side how they're in the back. It's not really, again, it's not fancy, not professional, but it gets the job done from a distance. Down here, we have the card for him. It's, a, it's not an expensive card by all means, but I love the way that that one looks with it. And UTS shark mode of Kisame coming in. Not a statue I've seen too many collectors own but great job with them. It's kind of an accenting piece, not a huge piece by any means. And the 10 MNT of his sharp form as well. We're putting that side by side with Surge's version. Again, some awesome custom LEDs added to bring this one to life. Two epic statues side by side in one case. Looking forward to eventually owning all of the Surge Studio line, jumping over to the recently reviewed IZ Studios Kage statue. It's six statues that come together as one, Gara obviously being separate. The whole base behind him is separate as well. There's the Suche Kage. Moving up is the Mizu Kage. Over here on the left, we have Tsunade, the Hokage. And then also we have the Rai Kage, clotheslining a Zetsu clone. And for the largest non-life-size statue in my collection, KM Studios Hashirama. You can see it's busting through the top. I had to remove the panel just to fit him. He was a half an inch too tall. While this is one of the lowest quality statues I've ever seen made detail-wise, it is one of the most epic statues for the presence that it has and the way that they brought this giant jutsu to life. Quick shout out to Fusion Reactors. They helped me bring these LEDs to life. The statue normally requires 30 of those pesky small round batteries. And he created this custom kit that I can use and power everything electronically. Hit them up if you're trying to replace batteries with your statues. Just when you thought we were done, nope, we have some quarter scale pieces on top of the Maja cases. Another imposter over here, Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. This is Infinity Studio. What an amazing piece. I love this. I'm turning the LED lights on real quick. I forgot to turn those on for the showcase. You cannot see the statue without seeing the beautiful LEDs on this kit. Glorious looking. I cannot wait for their Tanjiro to come out. Collecting quarter scale statues is something that is very new to me, so I'm slowly learning on how to display them properly. And as the time evolves, I have a lot more quarter scales coming this year. Look forward to seeing those on the channel. As you notice, they're just much larger scaled statues compared to the others. My Guy by Cloud Studios, one of the only quarter scale that they've ever come out with. Now, he normally has some lights plugged into him, but I'm unfortunately not able to illuminate them at this time. Iron Kite Studios Gara.
he is an absolute masterpiece and look at this incredible card that goes so well with him but they captured the psychotic younger version of him crazy crazy good and then we have the send bones it took an hour to install all of those but so worth it once it comes to life iron kai studio are just masters of the quarter scale here is their hinata I have a very special video I'm working on for her, kind of similar to the Recast versus Authentic series that I've done in the past, but we're gonna be doing something a bit different where we compare two different products against each other. So look forward to that in the near future. Lastly, I cannot wait to show you, oh, I forgot to show you my two cloud statues, love Final Fantasy VII. But anyway, my wife put this up on the wall a few weeks ago. Here's the words I've said at the end of every single video since I started this channel and my 100,000 subscriber plaque that you all have made possible. Thank you so much for your support and love all through the years. And as always, everybody, I'll see you in the next. Do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.